Hey family, how's it going? Uh, just, I wanted to give you an important message about some plans that I have. Um, I actually, uh, I have uh, big things in the works um, right now, and uh, I just kind of wanted to be as transparent as possible by letting you know uh, what I'm thinking uh, is going to happen in the next, uh, well, from today all the way through uh, to 2030. Now, again, uh, I don't really know what that's going to look like yet, Uh, but as of right now, uh, well, this video is going to be titled uh, The 4BZ Truth uh, 2021 to 2030 agenda. So it's, I'm going to be kind of playing off of, uh, agenda 2030. And that's, it's not just, you know, I'm playing off of it. I'm actually trying to, uh, it's a preemptive strike, you might say, because what's happening to the world is they're planning the N world O and, uh, they actually, uh, have big plans to change everything as we know it uh, from well over the next nine years. And that's kind of where I'm going to say right now, I have to really change directions in my life as well. So I'll just tell you, I'm going to be transparent, but I have to be discreet at the same time because I work for a company. Uh, we're actually finding the uh, business has declined uh, and they're probably going to lay off about 90 people. Uh, now I don't really know what that's going to look like. I, I could be laid off, but as far as I know, my job's pretty secure because, uh, I'm actually, uh, kind of a vital asset to the company as far as, uh, uh, well, I, I'm an equipment technician slash, uh, process, uh, technician. So, one of our main uh, sources of revenue in our company is a company you guys are very familiar with. And, um, you know, I might give you a little bit of a hint, but they're involved in uh, ramping up the surveillance in- infrastructure. And uh, <clears throat> you, you will, like, say, oh, my gosh. Like, I could totally see them being involved in that. But again, I have to be discreet because I uh, am under, um, you know, federal regulations uh, so that I can't give away certain information. So, uh, again, I don't want to freaking get myself in trouble uh, or thrown in jail for leaking information. It's not like military. It's not even military, which is so dumb. But anyways, um, but there are military uh, contracts that we do. Uh, work on. Anyways, uh, so uh, eventually I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to need to leave that company. And really all I have at this time is my side business, which is Dryer on Fire. It's on my hat, my little logo there. Um, And my Illuminati symbol on it. (laughs) No, I'm sorry. I actually thought it was a clever, I mean, it looked like a cool logo, but um, later I realized that it looked like the freaking eye of raw or whatever, because, uh, my dryer is, is really an eye. Now, as silly as that might sound, you know, people, I'm not a shill. I promise you, uh, I, I literally am doing this. Uh, I've been doing it, not just free of charge. I've been doing it, uh, paying out of pocket so that I can get you guys the information. I don't want to, um, you know, I never have ever considered making money off of YouTube uh, until I was able to start monetizing. And I thought, oh, monetization, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of channels that are monetizing, you know, and then I started listening to certain people that are like, I- I'll never monetize. Uh, you know, I'm doing this for the Lord. And, uh, you know, I don't want to shit, you know, I don't, I don't want to make YouTube money. Uh, 
you know, because they're corrupt. And I actually started thinking about that. Gosh, that's pretty true. Um, and so, uh, anyways, I'll leave it in the hands of uh, the listeners uh, of my channel. Uh, and again, you're not just listeners. You're you're my family because we are trying to stick together in these times. And uh, so, anyways, uh, but I work for this company. And I'm going to have to basically uproot myself. And the only thing I have to fall back on is my side business, Dryer on Fire. Now, um, you know, there's some weeks where I actually have a decent amount of work, but that really just ties me up. And I I can't really spend a lot of time with family uh, or do YouTube stuff during that time. So whenever I'm making a lot of videos, it's when I don't have any extra side jobs. Um, But... uh, I started realizing, you know, I have the perfect, perfect little niche of, uh, connecting with, uh, uh, landlords, you know, like property management companies, uh, apartment complexes, um, real estate, uh, companies, you know, if I really got out there, I do dryer vent cleaning and appliance repair and things like that. That's the kind of stuff that I do. And, uh, you know, I am. A lot of people don't realize that dryer vent cleaning actually is vital maintenance for avoiding fires and having a productive uh, dryer. Now, I'm not trying to sell my company to you guys, but I definitely feel like that would be the thing that would sustain me if I, uh, you know, broke away from my company. Because honestly, I don't want to help build the infrastructure of what surveillance anymore. I, I want to freaking. Uh, I want to contribute to the kingdom. The only way I can do that is breaking away uh, and being sustainable financially outside of my company. And the only way I can do that is through my side business. And, uh, you know, this here on YouTube is my passion. Now, it's not just YouTube. It's being able to talk to people and inform people of what's happening in the world. So my agenda is to break away from my company and, and be independent. Uh, and then also, uh, be that voice in the wilderness without time and money and sustainability. I can't, I can't, um, I can't be that voice in the wilderness. I have to make sacrifices in order for that to work. So one of the sacrifices is I'm going to have to freaking quit my job, but I can't do that. Now, maybe I get uh, laid off and I, I'm forced into making that decision. You know, you guys, I hope you say some prayers for me and my family. Um, my wife often operates from um, fear and anxiety and she can't uh, wrap her head around, uh, you know, depending on my side business to keep us afloat. You know, the realization is I freaking make way more money with the time I invest on my company. So really, I just need the the steady workflow in order to be sustainable. I literally only need to put about 20 or 30 hours a week in to, um, well, if that's all solid hours of working on my side business and actually making money, uh, I would probably double my income doing that. Uh, now the problem is I'm only doing like five hours of work a week. (laughs) So I need to do more than that. Like 10, 10 to 20, uh, would be better. And then I'll, uh, but again, I'm kind of on that razor's edge trying to figure out how that's going to work. And, uh, I can't just, you know, put my family and everything on the back burner uh, so that I can build my, my, my business. It's hard. I'm kind of in that in between right now. Uh, but anyways, uh, God willing, my company freaking offers me a severance, uh, to get laid off and I would be happy to take it. So, um, anyways, so, uh, but as, uh, you know, I get to that point where, uh, I can be sustainable. I honestly, my side business is a means to an end as well. So, uh, I'm telling you guys, I feel like, uh, I'm called into this, uh, you know, ministry to 
be a voice in the wilderness. And uh, I, th- I think that I need um, to, you know, have a, a community of people, which I have, uh, that will help me in the process, uh, get to the point where I can be a, a vocal mouthpiece to destroy the enemy and destroy uh, the corruption. Uh, and really, uh, my only limitation right now is uh, the the fact that I'm in my, my job and my side business is not uh, where it needs to be. And then the other thing is, um, you know, I one way or the other, I'm going to just keep doing this, but it, it, will, uh, it will be a much more um, productive time uh, if I didn't have to worry about, um, you know, being, uh, sorry, I'm trying to drive and people are being silly. I'm in the parking lot of uh, a grocery store. I'm trying to, oh, I, I might as well park. Uh, sorry, guys. But anyways, uh, so if your understanding of my situation, and uh, really, it, it's it's the situation that all of the people in the world are trying to figure out what to do. Um, you know, if they're wanting to be, uh, you know, the remnants in the last days. And I, again, I'm, I'm really in that spot right now where I feel like we are the remnant in the, the days that uh, Jesus spoke of prior to his return. Now, as far as his return, is it going to be, uh, is it going to be like pre-trib, post-trib, whatever? I, I've, I think that uh, tribulation has always been, and I think that within the next nine years, it's going to ramp up and become the worst times that we've ever experienced. Am I 100% sure? I'm not 100% sure, but all the evidence is pointing in that direction. And people like me and you guys need to rise up. If you can't be a vocal mouthpiece or a voice in the wilderness, support people like me and others that are trying to, you know, um, you know, not be weighed but down by these anchors. Now, uh, again, like I'm saying, it's not something that needs to happen. Uh, one way or the other, I'm going to get the word out there, even if it, even if it means I stay with my company and I just kind of do this here and there. Um, but again, uh, you know, I, I really want to ramp this thing up. I I feel like the time is now. So anyways, I love you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed or, uh, rung the bell or whatever, like the video, please. Uh, we need to get the word out for, uh, what's happening and, uh, you know, four BZ truth and, uh, contemplating the cosmos is on the side of, of Jesus, and, and we need to ramp up to the point where our voice is so loud that it freaking resonates and echoes throughout the world. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.